What's your name? You happy you're in Israel? Where are you from? Where do you live? And why did you come out here so early in the morning? For friends. You have friends that are making Aliyah? You happy? And privilege to welcome the 234 New Orleans who just arrived on today's charter for the Arts Live. Including 85 Young Orleans who are soon to be drafted into Sahel, into the RDF, the largest number, the largest number ever to arrive at one time. You are among over 3,000 Orleans from North America and the UK making Aliyah this summer through Nefesh Benefesh in cooperation with the Jewish Agency for Israel and strongly supported by the Israeli government. To each and every one of you, welcome home. As co-founder and executive director of Nefesh Benefesh, Rabbi Yoshua Fass has dedicated the last nine years of his life to rejuvenating Aliyah of Choice and helping bring home over 25,000 Jews to Israel. Please welcome Rabbi Yoshua Fass. To our distinguished guests, Nassi of Israel, Shimon Peres, happy birthday. <laughs> Director General of Aliyah Kintab, the Jewish Agency, a dear friend, Eli Cohen, and the entire Mishakal of Aliyah, Barry, Diran, Ketzala, Dimitri Apachev, Makal, and Israel Aliyah Kintab, partner from the government of Israel, FIDF, dear sponsors of today's flight of the Chayalim, Garit Sabah, the mayors, different mayors, mayor of my mayor, and equally distinguished all of our guests today who woke up early to create this and of course a quick story one morning, a Tamid went to Rav Kook, or Tzvi Yehuda, and told him that a cousin of his was making Aliyah and coming directly from the airport to the Shiva. Immediately upon hearing the news, Rav Kook readjusted all the seats of the classroom so that he would have a straight view of the door. And every 15 minutes, he would look up and look to see if the door was opening, to see if this stranger, this Ole, was coming. Hours later, the door creaks open, the cousin arrives, Cook stands up, rushes to the door, embraces this stranger, and with tears in his eyes says, Shehechianu v'kiyamanu v'kiyanu l'azmanazeh. And he commented to all of his Tamidim, he said, this one individual represented a culmination of thousands of years of national dreaming, praying, and yearning. This one individual represented and symbolized the modern miracle of the state of Israel. Now imagine multiplying that 234 times today. Shechianu, Vigiamanu, Vigiano, Lazmanazet. Aulit Hadashim. You bring to us tremendous gifts. Hope, promise, passion, vitality, vibrancy, strength, and spirit. And a byproduct of it all is this incredible oasis. Outside these walls, we know the external and internal tensions. But for some reason, somehow, inside for this half an hour, is this oasis of time. You look around and you see the diversity, you see the yachtut, you see the unity, religious, political, age. You see the partnerships, usually there's ego and there's fighting, but you have all these organizations, institutions working together for your own success, for your own aliyah. It gives a, give us a sense of hope and promise. And therefore, we in turn give you a bracha that you should have a pitani imam. You should have a life of sasom v'simcha, bracha, shalom v'shalva. 
to our incredible heroes of today, 85 Chayalim, who are going straight into the army. You are unbelievable. And our prayer for you is that Hashem should protect you. Thank you very much, Pass. We're privileged to have with us today a famous Israeli artist who is known as one of the country's greatest composers, Mr. Rami Kleinstein. You may not know, but he's a former Oleh, made Aliyah from the States in 1970. He's had a prolific career as both a composer and a performer, and has given his time to join us today with a special performance dedicated to the Olim. Please welcome Rami Kleinstein.
in our minds and hearts. But as the United States is a country of competition, we want to compete with the United States. And we want to show to the United States that Israel can be a real democracy in the midst, which is basically undemocratic. The Ten Commandments is our guidance, the most brilliant document in history, I think, 162 worlds that are holding the whole civilization. And that we are going to build peace for us, for our neighbors, also for the many Americans who hope to see peace in the Middle East. We will be soldiers and builders. Building and defending, defending the right to live in peace for all of us. If I could, I would embrace each of you and tell you, it, you didn't cause a distance, you caused a history. Players are flying fast, history is moving slow, and you are a new chapter the experience of our life. I hope that we shall not need to have more financial campaigns in the United States. But half of the Jewish people are in America. Half of the Jewish people are in Israel. We have to live like one nation, based on values, based on the determination, the division of our prophets, who are real and serious. And we, particularly you are going to show that it can be achieved. I saw the soldiers in being, boys and girls. I'm sure they will embrace each of you. You look so fresh and devoted and happy with your own decision. You are coming to an army which is an army of defense, an army with a human responsibility, an army that never went to fight, but always won the fights that were imposed upon it. In 62 years, seven times, outnumbered, outmanned, we won the wars. And once people are ready, our neighbors are ready to make peace, we gave them back the land and the water because we are sincerely hoping for peace. In one world, well, the never with you. I would say each of you is a hope for your ancestors, for your parents, for us. Even for the United States of America. And your energies can tell the world. From the depth of my heart, I want to appreciate and thank each of you all over. I understand the variety of ages is from five months to 94 years. Seven years old, I must say that five months is still young. <laughs> when it comes to 94, he still has a hope. So all ages are welcome. And the young will mature, and the mature will remain young. God bless you. Thank you. Kaplan, a 20 year old from Memphis, Tennessee. He's a big Dave Matthews fan, I'm told. He's joining Sahal and wants to work uh, with Maslati in the army. And Lisa Teitelbaum, a 19 year old. Who spent time in Israel and fell in love with.